Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And he's already boomered the camera. How are we doing, guys? How are we doing? Right, round two. Round two. Today. It's all about benchmarking. Uh, so uh, the issues with the PC, obviously we're logged onto the PC. Hello and welcome to the Zombie Channel. I'm your host, Tombi. Uh Built a PC for Greg, one of the viewers of both Mr. Porkchop and myself and probably many other channels. Uh, Greg is a really good guy. He basically purchased some really good components. Asked me to build him a PC uh, as I helped Mr. Porkchop sort out his PC. So uh, Greg asked me to do it. Uh, so yesterday we did the full build, putting it all together, getting the operating in, uh, system installed, doing some uh, installation, some of the drivers. Uh, and at that point in time, the computer decided that it just wanted to memory train um, and then started pausing on itself and just memory train. Uh, so instead of wasting people's time, we called the stream there because we had got to about six hours into the stream. Uh, today is the remainder of the adventures. In fact, uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in slightly more because you don't need to. In fact, uh, let's... Uh, let's leave it there. So that's fine. That's fine. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do. Uh, well, get on with it. Get on with it. We're waiting. All right, calm your tits. Two seconds. I've got a fucking knife in my pocket. Just need to sort my shit out. Been busy all today. And I thought, do you know what? Let's just wrap it, wrap this thing up. So what I've done is I'm starting to sort out things like folders, things like the uh, applications. And let's face it, one of the main things that everybody wants to see is some of the benchmarking. Uh, so I've installed Steam. I've installed it against my account for now. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to just select. Uh, let's go to Power World, for instance. And what we're going to do, we're going to install this. Before we do that, we're going to configure Steam. So you will probably have to do this yourself, Greg. Now, I appreciate, Greg, that you're probably asleep, mate. You're probably asleep. You're right, Nick. How you doing? Um, so the fact that you are asleep... You probably have to do this uh, much later. Obviously, friend code if you want to add me. Um, downloads. So let's just make sure our storage is selected. It's currently set to programs. We're going to change that to the game drive that we partitioned yesterday. It's going to go on to G. Uh, Rick, it was a very informative and gold stream last night. Not as violent as party animals. Mate, I was, I was disappointed that I didn't get to boot someone in the chops. Uh, so let's select the G drive. So just waiting for it to sort its stuff out. Eventually it's happy as Larry. Come on. Eventually it will say, yes, you can select that drive. So so what Steam does is it connects to a drive, just does some um, kind of like light benchmarking to make sure the drive's okay. Um, so we're just waiting for it to finish its shizzle. Cool. Right, okay, so when we install games, we are going to be installing it onto that drive. So we're going to select that one. We'll, we will star it in a bit. Create desktop our app, desktop shortcut, menu shortcut, that's fine. Uh, let's accept the doodah and watch by the magic of the interwebs, the speed. Uh, so it's currently using my internet. I've got a gig fiber. Can't blame shit now. Uh, yeah, definitely can't blame the alcohol now, buddy. But it's good to see you, my friend. Rick, uh, select G and then on the free dot set for default. Thank you very much indeed. I don't really play with Steam too much. Storage, downloads, storage, back to G, three little dots, set to default. There we go. Thank you very much indeed. Are there Nick's, you legend? So that's their set. 900 megabits per second download. So this ain't going to take long. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the Tombi and Smoo uh, Linux server. Uh, let's go onto the Linux server. Why not? In fact, Greg's Greg really is going to be a um, PC. He's going to be a streamer, so I might stick him on the streamer's Power World server. But what have you been doing with yourselves, guys? What have you been doing with yourselves? So to round up, so 7800X. Let's go to system. That's my computer. That's not, not going to help. Control panel. Let's go to the control panel. I'll just give you some stats. Uh, let's go system. System. Right. Okay. We've got a 7800X3D. 
64 gig of RAM. It's sitting on a B650 uh, gigabyte Aorus motherboard. Two terabytes of NVMe storage. Pretty good for a good uh, gaming PC. Uh, where is your better, cuter, younger assistant, Lily? Is she good today? She is very good. She's a bit sad because she's had to go home today. Um, so the daughter's taking her home. They're on the way, and hopefully in a couple of hours they'll get back home, and she'll just let me know that they've got got home safely, and then we'll go from there. So to show people the kind of um, way we've divvied up the drives, so C drive, I've or I tend to always select C drive and put it as a quarter of the um, size of the whole disc. Mainly because sometimes some games can't be installed anywhere other than C drive. Xbox is renowned for sticking everything on C drive. It's a pain in the ass. You can move things, but C drive is going to be a quarter of the drive. Then a very small partition for programs. Needless to say, you're probably not going to have a massive amount of programs, but more 200 gigs more than enough. Games, almost 800 gig. Recording, so recording and streaming is going to go onto a separate drive altogether. So we will be... Uh, sorting out, you can uncheck the showed speed in bits, such as su that's such an abuse to show high numbers. Such an abuse to show high numbers. <laughs> uh, throttle downloads when streaming, no display download rates in bits. Okay, <laughs> that's fucking funny as fuck. That is funny as fuck. Allow background processing of Vulcan shaders. Yes, please. Uh, just anything to improve the streaming performance. Right, let's have a look at remote play. Yeah, none of those. We have to fit around 24 hour clock. Yes, because we're British. We believe in 24 hour clocks. Uh, which account to use when stream starts? Yes. Start streaming big picture mode. No. Uh, so big picture mode kind of like puts a kind of like small operating system on the front or small screen it takes over your screen it just goes straight into games so sometimes that's good sometimes it's not all right okay anything else no all right so that is in place so let's go i'll tell you what i was going to do is i was going to quickly go onto my server in the background so let's Throw this up on screen 10 65 214 116. Let's log into this for a second. <sighs> Come on, Bob. Right, okay. Tomby Power World Linux. Let's jump onto this box. Let's go. Super secret password. Uh, it's going to tell me it's wrong. Crying out loud. Crack fingers. Quite often I'm typing faster than the keyboard can keep up. Uh, right, okay, so let's go into Power World Server. I think it was on here. Uh, LS, uh, Steam Command, C um, CD, Power World Server, LS again. There's our doodah, forward slash. So full stop, forward slash, then Power World Server, Power Server. And let that script run. That's running the Power World server now on the Linux box. You'll have an issue with the new updates that Microsoft sends out. The recovery as of now needs to be higher than 900 megabytes, recommended to gigabyte as of knowledge base uh, 5034441. You'll have an issue with the new Microsoft updates that sends out. The recovery as of now needs to be higher than 900 megabytes. 100 megabytes from, bytes from what? Let's grab that. Let's have a look at the knowledge base. Oh, that's cool. Uh, KB503, 503, 503 4, 4, 4, 1. Nix, are you up to speed with shit like this like me? Uh, Windows recovery environment. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, but we're on 23H2. Uh, safety, yeah. This update requires 250 megabytes of free space in recovery partition successfully. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I think I think we're gonna be fine because we're on twenty three H two. We should. Are we on twenty three H two? Let's have a look at our control panel. Uh, I can't remember if we're on twenty three H two, twenty three H. Yeah, we're on twenty three H two, so it should be sorted. 
Um, it should be sorted. But I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, deal breakers in the house. Deal breaker, how you doing, my friends? What have you been up to? Have you been uh, playing Power World? Have you been playing Power World? Right. So that's running. So we're going to play Power World. We're going to spin this up and we're just going to have a look. So the only thing that might be a little bit dodgy is the fact that we are remote desktoping onto this machine. I could throw it across onto one of the other uh, monitors, but at the minute we're RDPing onto this just so we can capture. Um, it's currently capturing through... Are we RDPing? No, because the, El uh, the Elgato's um, plugged in. Uh, but let's have a look. Uh, so let's have a look at our options. Graphics. Uh, high, full screen, 1080p, no limit, fine. V-Sync, whatever, motion blurred, all of that's on. Epic field of view is fine. Ride camera distance. I'd actually increase that so you're a bit further out. Uh, toggle sprints is off. I prefer to hold it. Invert Y-axis. So it depends on the, what kind of gamer you are. I always invert my Y axis, so I'm just going to do it for Greg ahead of him joining on and taking over himself. Right, okay, let's escape that shit. Yes. So, join multiplayer game. Okay, I'm going to put in the address for my local server, 1065214176, uh, but I will give him access to the uh, connection from the interwebs. Anybody that I use AME to cut a bit from C to give... Yeah, that's not a bad way of doing it. That's not a bad way of doing it. Right, I'm in the game. So it's a bit... Oh, tell you what. Let's go back to the settings because I've inverted the wrong fucking thing. Uh, invert x-axis, not y. Yes. That's better. Right, so certainly it's loaded up the game. No problem, but RDP is certainly shit in the bed. So I don't expect it to do very well. But the idea is just to make sure it's running. Yeah, it's this ain't going to be having, having a problem. Game's running fine, so we're not going to have a problem with it. While that's running, I'm just going to open up open hardware monitor and get that running in the background because I want to monitor things like temperatures. So this is where we can see some of the speeds of what the CPU is doing. Uh, so the CPU is sitting around about 50, 60 degrees. So that's probably going to increase as the load's going up. But if you have a look at the CPU load, technically only one of the CPUs is actually doing much. So if we open up Task Manager and then we go to that same view I showed you yesterday, go to Performance, right-click, View, Change Graph to Logical Processors. So this is all of the cores, or all of the threads, should we say. So most modern day CPUs have got two cores, uh, or two threads. Deal breaker, yeah, I have, but on single player, Mr. P's was unplayable for me. Ruined streams. Nothing he can do about it, though. You've got you've got access to hours. If you want to play it, you just fucking dig out, mate. Uh, I mean, the, the Linux one I've just connected to, um, all the details are in the members forum on Discord which was coming back to an earlier comment. If you're a member on the Tombi Smooth server, you get access to the members, um, and then you can jump onto any of the gaming servers that I'm going to be providing. So everything from Minecraft, uh, GTA 5M, uh, this, probably Red Dead, probably a load of other servers. I'm just going to start building them up, putting them onto the blade that's downstairs or onto the home lab, uh, and then just get them spun up. And then, yeah, just feel free. Just jump on any of them. Jump on any of them. Uh, still breathing deal breaker. You, um, that is wrong there, side. Look for the knowledge base. Keeps crashing up data. Yeah, yeah, got yeah. Understood, understood. Uh, Nix, what do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I jumped from electrical and electronic engineering over to IT consultancy a long time ago. So it's, it's quite rare for people to, one, quote, uh, knowledge base articles at me obviously um i just want to interest in seeing your level because more people my level i can then have different different experiences with those people or start talking or looking or asking questions of you guys as well 
Not saying anybody in my chat is stupid or daft. That's far from it. Uh, there is far too many more clever people than me, especially Rick. Rick is probably the cleverest person that I know on the fucking planet. Uh, so Tombi being Gary again and again. Uh, what did I do this time? Oh yeah, the camera. The camera. Uh, so music output. So you can't hear the game. So I wonder where RDP. I'll tell you what, that's what it is. It's because this sound is coming through RDP. So if I go to taskbar settings. Not taskbar settings. Fuck my life. I just need to go into the mixer on Windows. Throw that out over... RDP. Oh, that's interesting. None of it comes through over to here. I don't need that one there. That should be a chat. System mods. 4K capture card. That should be going to game. That should be going to game. There we go. I can start hearing it now. It comes through to the game and chat. That's better. That's what's doing it. Right. So you should hear the game in the background now, guys. Um, yeah. Internal, it supports bigger companies. Used to laid off the RCA. Oh, that sucks. Massive wang. Uh, Dante, casual Sunday. Yes, it is. And that's why I thought about doing this. I just wanted to leave just the game there, thundering in the background, just to see what the server load does, uh, but also to see what the CPU does in terms of frequencies. Uh, so currently, XMP... Um, that's Intel. Expo is enabled on the chipset. So the BIOS Expo is enabled, so it's going to up to 6 gigahertz on the memory. Uh, the CPU has got an all-in-one cooler. That's currently chunked away in the background. And what I want to see is basically the CPU maximum frequencies that are coming in. But the, the problem is the CPU is not doing anything. It's not being tested, really. So uh, certainly plenty of overhead here. Uh, so while that's doing that, while the game is playing in the background, we are going to jump on to download OBS. So what I'm going to do for Greg, because Greg wants to start streaming, we are going to install OBS for him. And what I'm going to do is import a profile that I created. It gives him access to um, some standard screens, an intro, outro, a um, live games some very uh, very easy things to deal with so where has you gone my lovely so let's get this installed so i'm going to install this whilst the game's running in the background because the idea is i'm baking the cpu right now um when it comes to streaming uh, obs is one of those that i prefer to leave on the c drive so don't change this to p uh tommy g's brother why did you make my screen all blurry damn it but Thanks for your praise. Um, yes. Hey, Dante. Hey, Dante. Yeah, OBS, just leave it on C drive. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to multi-stream OBS plugin. So that's another one that we're going to download. Not restream. We're not using restream for it. You suck a dick. Uh, multiple outputs, plug-in. Don't need to pay for this shit. Go to downloads. And uh, let's download the Windows MSI. Windows installer. Thank you. Come on. Where's my links? There we go. Windows installer. So that goes over there. So once OBS is installed, launch OBS. So what it's going to do is going to go through some standard things. Uh, what do you think about 12 chords with 20 threads performance? Uh, so you're looking at the Intel. So the the thing is, that obviously, the Intels have got an odd number of cores to threads because they've got their uh, E cores and their performance cores. There's nothing wrong with the um, way it's designed. Um, and certainly the scheduler for Windows actually takes care of that now. Originally, the scheduler didn't do too well on the AMD ones. It really struggled, especially when AMD did the caching on the seventy on the seven series. So, if, if we were to look at mine and look at Task Manager, let's go to my Task Manager. That's Greg's Task Manager. Let's go to my Task Manager, and you'll get an idea. Um, the E cores, obviously, you can use for stuff, but 
ultimately they're not as good as the performance cores. Uh, so let's go to mine and let's... Oh, I can't even fucking show you mine. Mine's so fucking big. Um, sh mine's so big, ladies. Uh, so I'm just going to make my screen full size for a second just so I can show you my massive wang that I call my CPU. Uh, so let's make sure that is fine. Uh, that's all tiggity-boo. Where has Task Manager gone? So Task Manager, yeah, cool beans, go to performance. I much prefer my... Why is that only capturing? Mm, it doesn't like the fucking screen, does it? Bio screen, it's not locked. So let's right click. Let's go to transform. Let's go to fit to screen. Uh, so yeah, 32, 32 threads of loveliness. Um, so I've got a fucking monster of a PC when it comes to performance. Got the 7950X3D. I wasn't gonna buy this round. I was gonna actually. I was actually gonna skip the seven series and go to the eights when they came out. Uh, but unfortunately, my last motherboard on my thirty nine fifty just died. Uh, so I skipped and just went fuck it. Do you know what? Uh, do it. Uh, but to answer the question, uh, there's nothing wrong with the Intel variant. Um, it's just that some of the cores are just gonna be slightly weaker. Whereas I prefer the AMD style, which is all of the cores are capable of doing exactly the same thing. Four of the, one of the CCXs or uh, one of the chips will be better than the rest. That's just the way, that's just the way it is. Um, one of them will always clock higher than the others. Uh, but for me, AMD, I prefer the load of AMD. Right, Grizzled Entertainment, how you doing, my friend? Right, next, I'm going to resize this screen again. Let's do resize O. And let's go back to 1080p. So the reason why I'm having to drop it back down to 1080p all the time is so I can capture it at, on a screen that you may actually be able to see. Um, you may actually be able to see it. Right, so let's go back to Greg's PC. Let's right-click the title, and then let's go full screen. Cool. So Greg's is running. You can see only four of his CPUs, are, uh, four of his cores are actually doing anything, four threads. Uh, is that poop or a color of the Nazca planes? Oh, well, that's the question. That's the question. Uh, Nick, are you setting up the virtual RAM AKK page file or leaving it on auto-managed? Auto-managed for now. Um, and the, ma the main reason I'm leaving it on auto-managed is because he's got 64 gig of RAM. He's not going to come into a situation where he's going to need page paging of anything. I mean, he'll be lucky in most situations where he's going close to, I would say, half his RAM. Um, I mean, even even if he was to hit 40 to 50 gig on memory, he's got to be chunking a lot of uh, information to do that. Um, and I think even mine, I'm streaming, obviously I'm streaming to four sources right now. So let's have a look at what mine was doing in terms of RAM. So I'm streaming to four sources. Uh, obviously I've got a lot more memory than he has. Uh, so out of the 188 gig, I'm using 32. I'm streaming to four sources. I'm talking to you guys. I'm capturing with display capture. Um, I've got OBS running. I've got remote desktop running. I've got a few other applications running. So I think I'll be happy to leave it on auto manage for now. We've already tuned a lot of his network settings so more on the network than anything else just tuning some of the network stack and um changing some of the way that the um network conf uh, network runs so dropping latency things like that right so we have installed obs so what it's going to do is optimize for streaming recording is secondary yes what we're going to do, use the current, either 60 frames or 30, but for 60, leave it as is. What is our service going to be? Twitch, connect account, stream key. Twitch, YouTube, restream, Twitter, show all. And if you have a look, when you show all, there is a shitload that you can connect to. Uh, for now, we are probably going to go to... Uh, let's divvy off custom. Let's go to... Let's go back to YouTube. 
can't even see it. It's kind of an idiot. Cancel. Uh, let's cancel that and just go to what if configuration wizard again. Optimize. I mean, you don't need to do this. You can just jump straight into it. Which, do you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to jump straight into it. I just want to make sure he's got everything that he needs. Right. OBS. Uh, Windows 11 poor management sadly doesn't process well anything about 16 gig. You might have to uh, for codec processing in OBS uh, above 16. Yeah. Um, Rick, performance seems very good. I plan to upgrade my new CPU with new i9 49, uh, 14900K KF with the 24 cores and 32 threads. Might be overkill, but worth it. This is the thing. Um, the way I look at the CPUs and things, I use mine for compiling code, rendering, video editing, playing games, streaming, you know. I use it for everything. And I use quite a lot of it all at the same time. So uh, if you see me during the day, I'll be watching four streams, I'll be coding, I'll be rendering on one of the screens. Everything's going at the same time. Uh, so quite easily, I can be using that amount of power. So yeah, overkill or not, let's fucking do it. If you can afford it, fuck it. Fuck it. Um, there is the old bragging rights over uh, my, my CPU is better than your CPU and all that. Gash, you just do whatever you need to do, mate. You do whatever you need to do. Uh, what was we going to do next? Right, okay, I'm going to get my... I've made an OBS profile. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my R drive. Let's go to streaming template. Streaming template. So I'm going to take that whole thing. Copy. Copy, 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 copy. We're going to go to his R drive. So I've done something very similar to his. His R drive is going to be his streaming. So we're going to drop that right there. Basic streaming template. So in here, the way the way I've done this is we've got some audio samples, we've got some music. This is from the YouTube libraries. It is free if you are a streamer or using the YouTube uh, in any way. So these two, nice and easy to plop them in. Images, some starting soon, uh, some ending. Now, what I would recommend for anybody that's going to be using this uh, profile oh hello uh, anyone that's going to be using this profile is just make sure that you change some of the images as you need so steel leg history um in fact let's start off my shout outs uh so steel leg of history i set him up with this basic streaming template we've gone through and i've started to teach him how to switch between screens change his images do some clever stuff with it but ultimately he needs to uh, change it, change the avatars, change the logos and things like that once he's got them. I am actually in the process of drawing his logos. I just need to have time to finish him. So hopefully I'll be able to do that tomorrow because he's got a birthday stream on Tuesday. Um, yep, we've got Blurps active as well. So Blurps, if you've got uh, Twitter or Twi um, Twitter, if you've got Twitch active or if you've got YouTube active with the extension, then you can collect your blurt points and you can just flow, throw in audio samples such as this gem right here, which I'm just going to replay. I'm just going to replay this one. Matt Damon! Matt Damon! Film Actors Guild. Right, okay, OBS. So let's go back to OBS. Let's go to Scene Collection. Let's go to Import. Yes. Uh, in fact, no, we're going to Profiles. We're going to import. Almost went to the wrong thing, guys. Almost went to the wrong thing. All right, recording in here. And then let's go to profiles, select folder. And then next thing you know, it should. Hmm. Why are you not picking stuff up? Oh, did I do the right one? Import. Oh, probably that one. That's better. So basic streaming template. When you click on this, it's going to say, oh, there's some files missing. Um, and that's only because the folders it's it's using is kind of like keyed to mine. So stream ending image, we just go into that same folder, go to the images and stream start image. OBS detected. Uh, match more files disappeared. Yeah, so it's found all of those recreated, not present. And the last one, anxiety, we just choose that. That's in the audio file. 
So audio, audio done, apply. Right, everything's fine. So his screen is different from mine. He's got a, he's probably going to do 1440, but at the minute, obviously, he's not, um, not got his screen. So I'm just going to set it up for 1080p. It's much easier to expand this. Uh, so right click, you can do it a few ways. Right click, transform, fit to screen. Perfect. And there should be some audio coming through. Um, so you see this is going red all the time. I'm going to drop that down so it's roughly in the 30 dB range. In a 30 dB range. And uh, Rick with the Mad Damon and don't go full retard. Never go full retard. And if you're new here, please subscribe to Tombi. Much appreciated. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Yeah, only subscribe if you find the content interesting or you want to come back and find out some more. Right, okay. We're going to shove his scenes over on this side. It's much easier. Come on. If I can snap to the window. So scenes over there on the left. Perfect. And we've got... We should have our audio just below it. Start streaming over this side. Sources should be part of this. So you should have scenes and sources. So these are your scenes. There are your sources when you select your scene. So on this um, profile, the way I've divvied it up is you have a primary set of primary scenes. Then you've got your embedded. So these embedded are within these. So you don't select, say, the audio capture one because that doesn't do anything. Or the games list one doesn't do anything. So whenever you're starting your stream, you start off at the top. Then you can switch to a live one that focuses on live with applications. So you can see it's capturing applications. Great. Uh, one that's live with games. So now if we're on the live with games, we hit our sources. See the one that says games list. Fine. So let's go to the games list. Let's add Power World. Game capture. Power World. And I always do a specific window because then it doesn't have to fuck around. Pow. Fuck off. Pow. Okay, that. Eventually the screen appears. There's Power World. Oh, we're going to die in a second. We're going to die. Shit. Where's Power World? Okay. Let's go to inventory. Let's go to that. Have I got some food? Baked berries. Oof. I survived. Right, so let's go back to OBS. So OBS is there. I've added Power World to this games list. Now, because I've added it to the games list, it's going to be in the games. Perfect. Is the audio. Right. So the audio is not at the minute. So I'm going to go down to the volume mixer. I'm going to find POW. And I'm going to push that through to whatever audio device is being captured at the minute. Now, when he gets home, he is going to have um, probably additional speakers and shit like that to put in um so he will obviously configure this a hell of a lot more when he gets home uh, and he gets his pc back because all of this needs to be configured right there's a couple of things i'm also going to do from a streaming perspective so we're also going to get social stream ninja social stream ninja really good for consolidating your uh streams so we are going to download the zip once we've got the zip downloaded. Come on, bub. We are going to open it. We're going to copy. We're going to go across to the R drive. And we're going to paste. And I'm going to create a folder here. New folder. And it's going to be streaming tools. Streaming tools. We're going to export that. Extra export files from there. We're going to go into our streaming tools. We're going to create a new folder. And this is going to be social stream, which is already created. Nice. Okay, that. And then we can get rid of the source. Now, the other thing you can do is because we're going to be having a PC that you'll never have to refresh the R drive, let's go archive tools and we can just drop that straight into there job done and it's and it's there social stream ninja what does social stream ninja do right okay let's go to chrome we are going to go to more tools uh, where are we in chrome looks like chrome 
Extensions. Manage extensions. Then we're going to go to developer mode. Load unpacked. We're going to find our R drive. And we're going to go to that social stream folder. Streaming tools, social stream, and this one. We're going to select it. Once it's selected, it's then added to uh, Chrome. We are going to pin it. And it's quite important that we pin this thing. I'm going to just go... Uh, uh, is my audio okay? Yes, it is. Right. So once you've pinned it, it's currently turned off. So what Social Stream does is it accesses all of your chat windows. Down the bottom, open quick uh, chat pop-ups. So when, when he is ready, he is going to put his YouTube channel name in here. When it's enabled, what he'll be able to do is just highlight the stream in chat. That will create a specific window that you will then be able to watch his chat on. And I'm just going to drag mine across here. And that's just completely fucked the size of the screen, but it's okay. This up in the top left-hand corner is that social stream. Um, it brings everything in from Twitch, YouTube, Kick, Rumble, you name it. And I can select any one of these, and it pops up on screen. And when it pops up on screen, you can see it nice and big. That is social stream. That's what it does. Makes life easier for any streamer so if you're streaming guys get it it makes life easier right next thing we're going to do is we're going to install uh this plugin to install that plugin we're just going to close down obs we're going to go to obs rmt multi plugin c drive and this is the other reason why i kept it completely standard for obs uh pete logging in yay uh fear the tardo right so that's that plugin installed. So we go back to OBS. And what we'll see in the docs is a new one called multiple output. So it says add new target. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it in here. So what do we do with add new target and things like that? So let me say add new target. We're going to say uh, Tombi's RMTP server because I've got my own RMTP because I'm an absolute nerd. And what I'm going to do quickly is get the address for it. It's a local address. You can't connect to this one. Um, and if I ever put it online, yeah, you can obviously do stuff with it. Uh, so I'm just going to okay that. When you've got multiple sources, so say our main one is YouTube, and you want to do YouTube and Twitch, you'll add the Twitch details into this page. So the Twitch RMTP the Twitch stream key, whatever it may be. And then most of this down here where it says get from OBS, you may have to deliberately choose what goes through. So you can see that we've got hardware AV1. AV1 is probably going to be best. But for some of the older uh, websites, say say Twitch, I don't think Twitch has switched over to AV1. I think it may do. Uh, but for now, just select H264. And then it will say, what scene do you want to share? Um, you can say it's send exactly the same scene as OBS. So when you tune the scene over here, or you can say, I just specifically want to send one particular, say the webcam. Uh, but we'll just leave it as get from OBS. Resolution 19, uh, 19, 1920 by 1080. Uh, frame rate, 30 FPS. Yep. Constant bit rate. Two and a half quality. So just go down the list. Max B frames. Yep, yeah, fine. Audio encoder. I'm just going to say FFmpeg. And audio tracks. Fine. Bit rates. Fine. Okay, that. So technically, I can start that. And you'll see that it's connected. Now, if I go to my computer, I'm going to open up Hot Player. Heretical Nerd has been up since 3 a.m. Must be... Must have streams, power, metal, and coffee. Oh, fuck yeah, mate. Fuck yeah. Right, okay. So we're going to go to open URL. So this is the uh, website I can open. And technically, that should show me Greg's. So it's just opening. This is on my PC now. So it's certainly uh, re receiving data. Now, the one thing it hasn't done is brought through the video feed. It's certainly bringing through the audio and stuff. 
Now, that could be due to the codec that's being used. So let's have a look. Uh, H, let's go to, i tell you what, let's go to Hardware AV1. Let's go to Hardware AV1. We're going to stop. We're going to start. Now, some applications don't obviously have the codecs for it. Uh, but we'll see if this now restarts because it should be getting some new data. It's just catching up with itself. Once the buffering is gone. Oh, subscribe to Stupendo. So st Stupendo is a good egg. Stupendo is a good egg. Uh, let me cancel out that window so I can start selecting things. Uh, he's good egg. I jump on a few streams with him with Lance from the Outcast Creatives. Let's stop that for now. The Arcast cast Creatives. And we talk all about films and TV and all that shit. So some really good streams there. Make sure you pop across to Stupenzo and give him a like, give him a share. Uh, so from a streaming perspective, we're going outbound. That's fine. He will configure his YouTube. Right, what's next? Docs. So custom browser docs. So we just added Social Stream Ninja. Social Stream. Uh, Dante, got to do some work. Be back later. You take care of yourself, mate. We'll see you in a second. Uh, so when we're creating our menu, hide menu bar. Nope. Uh, magnify the view. Make fonts, icons, menu smaller. Force transparent, all that stuff. We don't need to worry about any of that just yet. Uh, we could do force dark mode. Mechanics. Hide menu messages after 20 seconds. So we will have messages start at the bottom rather than the top. Messages drop down, reversed order. Uh, let's beep when there's a new message because sometimes you want to have your attention. This, if you become a big streamer, you want to turn off. Uh, but for now, let's do beeps. Do not enable TTS because someone's going to put something in there. That's a little bit naughty. Uh, reload the last 50 messages when refreshing the page. Yes. Uh, let's go down. 24-hour timestamp because we are British. We believe in proper times. Uh, let's go down to the next one. Use first names. Use color names if color information is available. Increase message history to 200. Uh, filter out messages with bad karma or anything like that. It naturally does anyway. Styling. Styling. A large avatar. Pick left side. Constant images. Message appear on its own line under name. Uh, yep, that's fine. Effects. Messages scrolling from the right. It's cool. Messages export. So you can save the messages, uh, but once you've clicked all that shit, up the top will be a link. If you take this link, you can then go into OBS. So this has now become um, OBS and benchmarking OBS, social stream ninja. This is going to make your life easier. Copy and paste it into there. Hit apply. That's going to create the window that we saw earlier. Allow allow it to come through. And now you've got this window will respond. Are we building Greg's computer? Yeah, EO, we're actually on Greg's computer right now. We're on Greg's computer. We've installed OBS. So I'm installing stuff that's going to help him kind of thing. Uh, so there's his social stream. Once his messages start coming in, uh, he'll be able to select these and they'll be able to come on screen and, um, and whatnot. So, we're on his computer. OBS is installed. Uh, we're currently running Power World on his uh, PC. Uh, so, he's got Power World. So, I just wanted to stress it out. At the minute, I'm rec recording information in the background, EO. Uh, so, if we go over to Hardware Monitor, it should be now recording. So, we're still maintaining about 55 degrees. Uh, so, nice and cool. CPU's not doing too much load-wise. GPU, what's the GPU doing? Uh, so the GPU load, 32%. Or, well, it's probably floating 32%, which is nothing at all. But EO, 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 how you doing? How you doing? Uh, this Power World server, um, EO, because obviously you've been a friend of the channel for so long, you get full membership rights in Discord. So if you went into Discord... Um, you will be able to access the forum that's got all of the details for this Power World server. It's running 24-7. Uh, it doesn't have the issues, bless him, that Mr. P. Porkchops has. Um, make his background a picture of a potato. Done. Done. Uh, yes. 100%. Let's do it. Let's 
do it. Right, okay, so we need a 1080p picture of a potato with a hat. What do we reckon? That one? <gasps> Some of these, these are amazing. It's amazing. One one that's completely free. Potato. These are amazing. That's that's it. Right. Save image as. And we're gonna go to. So when I'm saving images and things, I'm gonna put them on to the recording and streaming because I like to have things like streaming um media i like to put my images audio into folders so i know exactly where they are potato <laughs> that's a fucking cracking idea that's a fucking cracking idea we'll do the sombrero if we can look uh lol i'm already on the pal world server are you on mr p's or on uh the one that i've set up if you're on the one i've set i mean you fucking dig out there I'm glad you found it. I'm glad you found it. That's what it's there for. You guys to jump on. Uh, set as desktop, desktop background. Uh, so we're going to have to eject out of... You must be on Mr. P's because... Uh, Young Witch, how you doing? Um, there was one with a witch hat. I vote that one. Really? One with... Oh no, I'm going on to my own PC there. Let's go back to Mr. Go back to Greg's. Greg's, Greg's, Gregory. One with a witch hat. Might need to go backwards in images. I think it's on, might have been the page before, was it? <gasps> with a sombrero. <laughs> the fucking shit we're doing. This one. Yeah, that's fair enough. Let's do that. Right, okay, so streaming media into images. Save. Let's go into that folder. Images. And let's right-click. Set as desktop background. Done. Witch hat. How you doing, Yarn Witch? Thank you to the nine people that joined me uh, for round two of setting up Greg's PC. Obviously, he's probably still in bed. It's probably quite early for him. Uh, but either way, we are setting up stuff. The other extension or the other plugin that we're going to put on place is the Altium Vertical plugin. Uh, so the Vertical plugin for OBS. So what this plugin does is amazing stuff. Uh, so click. Yep, so it should be downloading. What this plugin does is fucking amazing. So let's close OBS. You streamers out there, pay attention to this one. This I set this up to make my life easier for making shorts. So we're going to open up Vertical Canvas. We are going to install it. It's going to select the standard folder. Vertical Canvas. Let's get it installed. Finish. And then let's reopen OBS. OBS. So now what you can see in here is a vertical window this vertical window represents a 1080p window of a mobile phone that and this is also completely separate from this window so you can join it in certain areas you can join it in certain areas but if we have a look at the vertical so sources uh, so where do the ver vertical sources go i cannot see you vertical scene transitions where did my vertical sources go? Maybe yes. Scene transitions. I soon I have all of these as tabs on here anyway. Oh, come on. Stick yourself in as a tab. There we go. So you do vertical scene transitions. Why can't I see? Has it knocked it off? Scenes. Let's add it again. Scenes. Where are you? Can he see it? I can't see it. That's a bit fucking weird. 
I'm just going to move some things around to see if I can just get to that window. Yeah, definitely can't see it. Right, okay. Scenes. Scenes, 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 scenes. Hide everything else for a second. Audio mixer, scene transitions, trolls, multiple outputs, vertical scenes, vertical sources, verti, verti, vertis, and it's hide vertical. So where is scenes? It's very bizarre, very bizarre. It's almost like it's there, but it's not. So let's close it. In case it's having a shit. Just in case it's having a shit. Right, okay. Uh, EO, I'm in Virginia. It's 7.30 in LA right now. Uh, so let's find where that's gone. Uh, let's reset... Um, just reset the docs sources scenes perfect there we go that's better that's what we want all right sources should be embedded into that one as well let's make this a little bit better cool all right docs now we can add our vertical s vertical so this i want in between these two so that's our mobile phone view so when he's doing shorts so Essentially, the way the way this is going to work is you you add your games and things like that. You add your um, webcam to this one, and then that way, when you're recording, if you want to, you just hit this button, um, and what it does is it dumps the last two minutes, three minutes of video footage to your um, hard drive, and then that way, it's really easy to make your short in your uh, whatever um, application you're going to use. So backtrack recording length I always do is three minutes. Uh, it's fucking three minutes, you dickhead. 180. Rather than five minutes. Streaming. We're not going to stream, so we're going to disable the streaming from that. But you could stream to YouTube with that view. Recording path. We're going to select our recording path back to our R drive. Let's get that. And then we're going to call this our mobile phone. So recordings. We are going to call this shorts recordings recordings and then we're going to go raw footage raw recordings uh stop touching the pc you are not it's age you're on you're on a schedule no disco lol how you doing bill how's things it's good to see you my dude good to see you uh so 6000 kilobits a second is probably okay to record um you can have a recording hotkey uh, or stop recording, but in the general, you want to have the backtrack runs when streaming and recording. And what that's going to do, uh, let's do the backtrack recording to the same location. What that's going to do is when you start streaming to YouTube, it's going to automatically start the backtrack. And when you click that button there, it's just going to flush it straight to the drive. Uh, so, Rick, I'm making morning ramen from my phone broth from the freezer. Just made two perfect Japanese eggs for my noodles. Bok chocolate, enough mushrooms, and extra chow sh char, sh uh, char shao pork. Cha shao, cha shao. Uh, it's 1627 and I'm hungry again. Uh, Rick, right, let's get on with this. Right, so that's that installed, that's that installed. Audio mix is in completely the wrong place, but we'll flip that over there. Uh, streaming controls, scene transitions as well should be embedded there. Docs, vertical scenes needs to be in that box. Vertical sources in the same one. And lastly, down the bottom, we are going to have multiple outputs. That's going to go in between these two. Uh, is there a maximum number of screens? You... It must be that. There must be a maximum number of docs you can have on screen at any one time. Which is fine, because what we can do is just hide multiple outputs for now, because he's probably not going to use it. 
Over on here, we're just going to set up. So usually you'll have your sources first. That is your um, main, well, scenes is your selector. So primary and then your embedded. These are the sources for those screens. Then you have vertical scenes and then vertical sources. And you can import things from one to the other. So if you've got a group, for example, if this primary scenes is part of the group, is Greg going to start streaming? Yes, he is. That's the plan. He's going to start streaming, Eo. That's why I'm just taking care of him in all respects. I'm going to take care of him, buddy. Um, I'm going to make sure he's okay with his streaming. And so he should be able to come in. We should just then have a session where we're setting up things like his audio, uh, his webcams, things like that. So we should be really, really quick to stream. For now, we are going to exit because all of that is done. OBS is complete. Power World has been running for a while now. Let's have a look at the server log. Uh, so from a system perspective, four, four, four threads, so two CPUs. So he's he's not saturated at all. And when we look at the GPU, um, it's hardly using any power whatsoever. Um, now, there are two GPUs. Bearing in mind, there are two GPUs on this. So I've still enabled the onboard. Um, so the reason why the onboard iGPU is still enabled and in hybrid mode is so that... You're right, Stevie. Um, Steve, hi, goes... How does it go? Yeah, it's going well. The reason why I've left the onboard GPU enabled because if I was to go into, say, uh, Discord... Discord. And you know how some devices, and in fact, we can actually return to title now. We've done with Power World. You know how some uh, applications use the hardware accelerated graphics? Dump things like Discord, dump things like websites onto the iGPU. They don't take much, but it's got power there. You may as well use it. I mean, you may as well offload some stuff from the main GPU over to your iGPU. Get it to do work. Why not? Uh, Bill, Tommy, my previous post, I take it you gathered it was all from the whole Piano Man St. Pancras London train station rating thing. Yes, understood. It was indeed. Uh, what was that? Young Witch, someday I'm going to cook for you and your husband a meal. Maybe with some sneaky bacon to bring you back into the light, veggie heathen. Uh, you're a good man, Tommy. Well, I try. I try. I try. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a, uh, I'm a good man. I just, I am a man. Uh, yes, I am a man. I've got a set of balls. Uh, Rick, lol, that would literally risk me ending up in hospital. Haha, <laughs> I'll eat meat me again when I raise it or I can source it from a farmer. I know and trust. Steve woke up dead again, but I'm here mostly-ish. Welcome. Uh, I, I understand that, Steve. I understand that. Um, so, yeah, so I woke up, um, I had stuck some things into the wash last night, woke up this morning, tumble dried it, because uh, I couldn't be asked to wait for it, um, threw my t-shirt on, uh, and then come upstairs to do this, right, okay, so that can be closed, that can be closed for now, streaming template is there, games installed, right, we now need to have a look at, is there... A benchmark, 3D benchmark storage benchmark DLC. Uh, 3D mark is that one. Right. I'll tell you what, let's go over to Steam on my PC for a second. Let's go to Steam on my PC. The other thing as well, I need to find out if... Greg has got any uh, Corsair LG. There you go. Look at that. Ain't that nice? Ain't it pretty? Ain't it pretty? Uh, 3D Mark. So I'm going to probably just purchase it on my PC. And then that way I can use it on his 3D Mark demo. Oh, there's a demo. That's a cart. Package information. And storage demo. Yeah, we can do... Oh, fuck it. Uh, what's that? Uh, plus PC mark and VR bundle. 
Well, benchmarking bomb. Oh, fuck it. Let's just do the lot. Let's do the lot. Let's remove build and storage. Purchase for myself. Yes, continue. Continue. Let's do this shit. Uh, Cine Bench. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Cine Bench 20, R23. Why not? Uh, R23. Download. Agree. Download now. Uh, Windows. Let's close that shit. Fuck me. Fucking so many bullshit you have to come round from. Um, why is it asking for 43? I'm not doing that. Oh, let's cancel that. So everything's going to plan. Yeah, uh, it is indeed. Uh, fever bloody sucks. Oh, Devil Squad. That sucks. Massive wang, mate. Sucks. Massive wang. Winrar extract to Sydney Bench. So we'll move this at some point. And uh, let's go find where Sydney Bench got opened up to. There he is. Open up. Let's go into this drive. Games. Let's do a new folder for benchmarking. Bench. Would help if I can spell benchmarking software. So this is basically to show him how his computer is faring against everything else. Uh, Young Witch Dante, I seem to be extra sensitive to meat. I went vegetarian when I was a kid after reading a bunch of books on slaughterhouses. When I was eight, I tried to eat meat again after that, and I was having horrid chest pains, no matter the quality of meat. But I also know that's needed for a good diet, so I'll try again one day under very controlled circumstances. Um, has anyone heard of that? And I know this is going to sound disgusting, Yarmich. Has anyone heard of that tick that introduces the enzyme into your blood that makes you go off red meat altogether, that makes you violently ill on red meat? Makes you horribly ill on it. I'd be fucking terrified if I got that. Accepto Patronum. Right, okay, cool. Uh, CPU multi-core. Uh, so can we zoom in on any of this? No. CPU multi-core. So it's got a 7800X3D, 8 cores, Windows, Info, um, first run. Um, first run. Um... EXPO enabled. Six thousand gigs a second, six gigabits a second. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, just put DDR six thousand. What else is applicable to it? NVMe, uh, two terabyte NVMe. This just goes into the run. So let's do start. Let's leave it. Let's see what it does. Let's see how it does. Tombi, if you were to do a factory reset on phones and devices, is it true that you may have to do that twice as it may not clear everything the first time? Yeah, quite. So certainly with some devices, you had the issue with some of the caches uh, not being cleared. Um, so yeah, the, it is possible that you have to clear it twice. It's ripping through this. Running 9.32. He's ripping through this, no problem. Um, yarn Witch. That's a shame, but keep yourself safe is paramount, so I understand. Perhaps one day they can make a medicine for it. Um, McDonald's tick. A bite from the Lone... That's it, the Lone Star tick. Can cause people to develop an allergy to red meat, including beef and pork. The Lone Star tick has been... Implicated in initiating the red meat allergy in the US. Uh, this tick is found predominantly in the southeast from Texas to Iowa into New England. Uh, no red meat at McDonald's. It's all textured soy products. Hey, oh, Bombhead Brian. Rick, it's all meat except seafood. I have a hard time with, though. Uh, Tombi, thank you. No, you're more than welcome, my dude. Uh, more than welcome. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's something to, something to think about. Right, okay, so certainly it's running its CPU uh, checks at the minute. 
and it's certainly beating a thread re thread ripper 1950 which was the old 1632 threads uh, so it's doing well it's doing well greg if you're watching ha 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 you have got a monster of a pc my dude monster of a pc i should i should technically just build do mine as well uh and just show the difference between both of them uh bill i've never heard of such a thing that tick yeah i um, would you say i'm learned I like to absorb lots of information about everything. So I, I tend to put my ear down to the ground and keep track of fucking everything. I've got a load of shit. Rick's probably got the same issue in that we've got a load of shit in our heads that's completely fucking useless. Um, but every now and again, a point like that comes up and I've got an answer to it. Or I've got a, um, oh, have you thought of this? Or have you thought of that? Does anyone know about this thing? And clearly, obviously, it's not so widespread. Uh, the knowledge isn't so widespread, so... Yeah. So we'll let this go. Uh, did you do 3D Mark test to test the GPU? I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that one yet. But we will. We will. We will. Uh, yeah, which, uh, thanks for filling in the gaps for me there. I didn't have the details down. Uh, but yeah, I haven't done 3D Mark yet. We will get round to it. Uh, vegans are rejoicing over that tick. Yes, they are. And it's fucking sick. Because no disrespect to vegans. Now, I understand that some people can't eat meat. Great. Um, but humans were never designed to be off the meat, guys. We are carnivores. We are carnivores. We <laughs> Funny old thing. That's why we've got canines. We've got canines for a reason. Um, and that's to tear meat apart. Uh, Yamwich, gave, give your... Gave, have you had an iron levels test? I almost had uh, hemochromatosis until I found out I, uh, that after pushing that I had an infection that was fucking my liver. Yeah, it's horrible. Mirden, how you doing, brother? Uh, yes, it's in the house, MD, in me. My diagnostic medicine skills are as high as his. Yeah, mental. And bearing in mind, I'm, I'm not trained medically. It's fucking weird as fuck. I just like to read documents. I like to read papers. I like to be a fucking nerd over everything. Right, performing render tests, rendering pass number six. So this is basically testing the CPU. Which, looking at this, is actually doing really well. It's doing really well. So we'll have a look at... Uh, Cine, Cine Bench, Cine Bench, 7800 X3D scores. Multi-core scores. Right, okay, so accept, uh, show more data. Yes, I want to show more data, of course I want to do. Um, yeah, fine. Where's the fucking score then, you dickhead? What? Where's the fucking score, you penis fuck? Okay. Um, that's interesting. So 7800 is an 8-core processor. Let's have a look at this shit. Uh, let's put this on. So 78-core processor. It can handle 16 threads simultaneously. Um, when using all CPU cores, the result is 13,620. Uh, that's Geekbench 5, though. What? I don't want that. That's the standard scores for a 7800 X3D in Cinebench, dick. Um... Most reviewers go about 18k. I'm only getting 17 points stock with Expo. With PB negative 35, get to 1730 at 17500. No thermal throttling. CPU sits at 72. CPU boost is hovering around 38. Anyone idea what's gone wrong? How do you guys do? Lightly, yeah, whatever. That's exactly the same as. 
According to the AMD software, the warmest it got was 59. Stock was closer to about 17k. That's fine. We just want to make sure it's working okay, guys. We don't need to obliterate things. Uh, right. Uh, what's it going? What's was 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 was? We also need the amino the amino acids in meat that are not available in plant life, something that rabid vegans refuse to understand. Yes, and that's why they look rough as a badger's arsehole. Uh, so let's have a look at the temps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin up the open hardware monitor, which is going to run at the same time. Obviously, it needs to wait a second to open uh, because it's rendering. It's fucking obliterating the performance. Anyone watched the new He-Man series, the one that Kevin Smith was involved with, by the way, it's the latest one, I mean, not the first one that you put out. I haven't watched the latest. The first one he put out, we destroyed. Um, I actively avoid anything that Kevin squats to pee Smith is involved in because he cries like a bitch. Yarn witch. But yeah, I've had to, uh, I've had my iron levels checked out, thankfully, recently. Got regular communication with the doc, especially if, God willing, we get to a spot, yes, uh, where we can try for a kid. If I don't age out before then, that is, yep. Uh, the negative 35 on PBO does give a small boost. I know of that processor, even Reddit specs and all. That's one sick one right there, yep. So we're just looking. See, this is whacked right full. 86 degrees going max chat. It's quite warm in here. Um, so it's probably the fact that the ambient's quite warm. But that's fine. It's not throttling. It's certainly not CPU throttling. Otherwise, this would be much lower. It's only doing 68, 15 gigs, 15% 15 load on there. So that's, I'm not worried about that at all. Remember where you are. White eggs are local eggs and local eggs are fresh. Yeah, negative 35 on the curve pushes it more towards 5 gigahertz. To be fair, I check temps because I'm air cooled. I, yeah, this one, I mean, technically, technically this is air cooled. It's got an AIO. Um, but the AIO is still a radiator that's air cooled. It's a it's no different from one that's got a big block of aluminium on it. It's just cooled in a different location. You're just moving the heat away from the CPU. Uh, so we've got another 57 seconds running. So I'm just going to open up the window because it is a bit warm here. Oh, my head. Get a bit George Michael. It's getting a bit George Michael in here. It's getting a bit wham. Getting a bit wham. Uh, as long as your iron is okay, start taking very good multivitamin with folic acid to boost your level. Now is critical. Yes. Uh, Yarnwich, Bill, I'm in the same boat as Tombi. I saw the first season and noped out, but I hear the new season is pretty decent. Not sure I can try, though. The problem is he fucked us over on the first one, so I don't. I really don't trust him. I use a thermal right tower. The one behind is an ON11 Vision. It's fucking a lovely case. I mean, the space behind it to hide cables is fucking phenomenal. It's, it, I've got the O11 Dynamic. This one's wider by a good two inches. Ladies. Ladies. Oh, why is... Oh, yeah, it is coming on. I just can't hear myself very well. Testing comms. Testing comms. Let's have a look at the audio level. So I'm not blowing people's heads off. Let's reduce it down. Down, 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 down. There. Hello. Right, okay. Looking at those scores. 17,984. So almost 18k off the bat. Almost 18k off the bat. And that is without the um, negative 35 on the curve 40. So that, to me, is a phenomenal result on that CPU. Um, we do have... I'm going to exit one of these because the other one is running. Now, we do have Ryzen Master installed. We do have Ryzen Master detects another one opened already. Oh, yeah, of course it is. There he is. Uh, so what Ryzen Master does is allows for things to be tuned. So you've got creator mode, game mode, profile one, profile two, curve optimizer, included default precision boost overdrive, which is what we're talking about, PBO, and PPT, and uh, let's do poor core, curve 
Optimizer all, all cores. And core value. All core value. Are we dropping the all core value by... Yeah, we are. So let's drop the all core value by 35. And then we are going to apply. Do you want to apply now? Yes. It's going to restart the PC. Restart anyway. So let that go. Let's that be set. We'll jump back into it in a second. We'll jump back into a second. Negative 35 is lucky. Negative 30 is most. So I'm going to go for negative 35, mate. I'm going to go balls deep on it. Uh, Rick, look for very vitamin complex that does not derive from lab grown. Yeah, you don't want lab grown. Um, you don't want lab grown. Uh, Bill, can you do the Munchkin and Barry White voices like Dan does? Um, I can. Right, okay, let's go to FX. Let's turn off reverb. And let's turn on. And let's turn on the gay sound. I mean, come on, bitches. I mean, what are we talking about? We're talking about PC. And we're doing all sorts of awesome things with PC. Let's connect. Let's go. Super secret password. Fuck this shit. And fuck your face. So, yeah, I can do. Uh, I'm on the Power World server right now. Nice. Um, it works for mine. Let's hope it works for Greg. I mean, it's it's restarted, Greg. It's come back on. Let's see what Ryzen Master thinks of it. And okay, let's do that. Okay, you see all of the stream remote plays. So this is the other thing with decent computers. You can remote play on them. Uh, so full screen. So you can just stream the games from one location to another. Right, okay, let's do Cinebench again. Let's do a quick test and just make sure that um, all of that is fine. So when we're benchmarking, guys, and you change something, go in and make sure that it's stable. You don't want to just... Why is it fucking hiding down there? Come here. Can't drag him. Oh, fuck your face. There we go. Let's get him up. Right, okay. Curve optimizer. Perfect. So, let's leave him... Let's leave him be, leave him be. So we're going to now open up our hardware monitor. So we've got that recording. So let's keep an eye on this. Temperatures have started to cool down. We're going to go back into uh, benchmarking. So when you when you when you're changing some, so we're not we're not necessarily overclocking. We're just changing a few settings to make the um, PC behave like it should be, uh, like it should do. It's not overclocking. We have enabled Expo. Uh, so Expo is a, a set of memory timings that the motherboard uses when the games are loading or when the uh, computer is loading. Um, it does boost the frequencies, but it's guaranteed frequencies to be able to run. It doesn't turn around and say, right, I'm going to give you extra stuff. It just runs what the memory is designed to do it's designed to do it right okay so our last result we had that um post negative 35 pbo setting and as always we've got our this is all available to us and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that there and so we can watch the frequency so we are hitting we're hitting five gigs already vord uh, so fuck your face. The uh, potato makes me warm and fuzzy. So it should, Yarwich. Temps should be better. Boost as well. Uh, so temps are probably going to be exactly the same. So one of the things to bear in mind, it's not in closed case at the minute. So it's sucking ambient te temperatures. So it's only got the AIO pulling temperatures out from where it is. Because uh, I haven't closed up the case. So I do all my testing before I close the case up. Um, just to make sure everything's fine. But, I mean, that's holding almost 5 gigs solid constantly. Uh, so there's your 5 gigs. It just flipped over to. Anyone know when the Light No Fire Open World game is released? No, actually. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Where is my PC? Let's have a look at main PC. I don't want that. So I want to go into Steam. So normally I just go into Steam and have a look. Steam library. All right, let's have a look at what's going on in the world. Let's go to store. 
And let's go to store. Um, does it give us a any information on here? Her plan date to be announced. Add to my wish list. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Oh, it looks good though. Holy shit. A game about adventure, building, survival, and exploration together set on a fantasy planet the size of Earth. It's a, it's a game about adventure. Uh, it brings the depth of a role-playing game to the freedom of a survival sandbox. Carve a life together, meet players from across the globe, build a life, explore and survive together, construct persistent buildings and communities, or strike out alone. To discover the world for others. Procedural Earth, a truly open world. Massively varied and dense planet filled with immersive biomes, unique enemies, and valuable resources. I mean, this, this is what we've said for ages. The fact that it's procedurally generated uh, does have a little bit of concern. But when you, th when you think of um, procedural generation, M Microsoft, uh, so uh, Minecraft has been doing that for years. It just builds it off a seed. And then when you go out to those locations, it then draws and renders. That's what it's doing. So why can't why can't these modern games use the seeded uh, a random seed generation, which then determines at all times what the planet's layout or the universe's layout is going to be at that time? I mean, I don't, I don't see why it's uh, why it's rocket science. Why are game devs not doing it? Because you just load. So when you create a server, you create a multiplayer server for people, like the Power World server. It will have a seed attached to it. Perfect. When I log into it, the seed's still going to be the same. So no matter where I go in that world, it's going to be the same from one day to the next. So now if I go across to someone else's servers, and this is where the funny this is where the impressive thing is. If I go across to someone else's server, I can either um they can either use exactly the same seed, or if they've got a different seed, it's completely different. So it's a fresh new game. Leveling up might be the same, mobs might be the same, but you might have um a completely different layout of the world. Yeah, it's supposed to have the biggest ever sandbox player or Bigger than GTA 6. Now, there are some really good... Um, <laughs> why? Because they are lay, lame and gay. Or gay and lame. Yes, lame and gay. Put a chick in it. I'm just watching the temperatures. So, CPU... Uh, looks like the CPU package is using less power. Um, it's using less power. I mean, it's definitely boosted higher. It's, it's held its boost a lot higher, Vord. Uh, game devs can script what might be unique to that world and lock in what the user has experienced. Exactly. I mean, you could have it that the there's only a certain part of the 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 seed that is procedurally generated. So you'll have a base map, base locations, stuff like that, mobs in certain locations, biomes in certain locations, but the positions of things, the layout of things inside the buildings. You can have procedurally generated based on the seed. So it's never going to be completely the same. I mean, the, the other thing as well is, is how many times have we gone into a game and the same base is just picked up and copied and pasted somewhere else? Or a building is copied and put somewhere else? Just make it subtly different. Put the doors in different places. Put the walls in different places. Procedurally generate that shit. Make, it, make every single building... Um, different now obviously some buildings in some areas will follow the same logic uh, have you seen the Transformers reactivate latest picks of gameplay no I haven't mate I have want uh, so oh and the hubby did contribute to poppy fund on Friday I wondered if that was the anonymous donor yarn witch you didn't have to guys um, considering obviously you're going through the same thing with the kitties he really didn't have to. Um, by the way, Yarmich, 
Send me a picture of the kitties on Twitch. Twitter. Twitter. Please. Please, 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 please. Yeah, send me a picture, please. I want to I wanna do something for you. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, why is that not connecting to stream? That's weird. What's going on with my rumble stream? Rumble. What's going on with rumble? Rumble, 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 raw hide. It's almost like the rumble is finished. Hmm. Live streams. Yeah, weird. Okay. Uh, use template part two. Part two point. 2.1. Why is that fucking stopped? Fucking bizarre. Uh, right now. Right now. So obviously Greg's got another two minutes to go. He's got another two minutes to go. Now, if this was okay, we're just going to move. Greg, how you doing? Greg's just woke up. We are benchmarking, mate. We are benchmarking. Benchmarking. So OBS is all installed and configured. You've got some shiny shit in OBS. So I've already set up things like your your first screens, your um, your first screens, your outros and things like that. So you've got OBS installed. That's configured. When you eventually get your computer home and you plug in all of your webcams and things like that, then we'll deal with configuring the remainder of it. It's not rocket science, but I've made it as easy as possible for you. Uh, hey, any thoughts on the parallax effect used in UA5 that gives the impression of actual inner spaces in buildings? Makes me think more of a simulation theory every day. Yeah, and this is the thing. Um, <laughs> Bill Barkley, oi, I'm Scottish, and that was a pretty decent impression of uh, the accent. Um, where are you? F obviously, Jockland. So I I lived up in Helensburgh for quite a while when I was in the armed forces. And when my dad was in the armed forces, obviously we lived on the Rosyth side. I've also done Arbroath and a few other places as part of the armed forces as well. Uh, so I spent quite a bit of time up in Jockland. And I do understand Jockanese really well. Um, do understand Jockanese really well. Uh, did you hear that the wizards... Uh, the wizards... At MCU Disney are making Colin Wing, the Colleen Wing, the new Iron Fist. Put a chicken it, make it lame and gay. Phase one complete. Uh, fucking nothing fucking surprises me anymore with this shit. Nothing surprises me anymore. Um, but yeah, Greg, coming back to your point, we are benchmarking, seeing what's going on. Uh, CPU, I've uh, been just tweaking and just making sure all the settings are fine. Uh, CPU is busting a nut at the minute. Obviously, this is not going to be the case of all the time it's going to be busting a nut. I'm stressing the balls out of it. One, for making sure it's okay and stable and it's not crashing. But two, just to make sure that you have, you're definitely getting your money's worth here. Um, you're getting your money's worth, my dude. Certainly out of uh, the uh, computer, that is. So we're going to do some GPU... GPU stuff in a minute. So we just get rid of the CPU testing. At the minute, CPU is acting above stock performance. So you've got quite a good bit of silicon, mate. And so on stock performance, it was just under 17,000 points. And you have certainly won the silicon lottery at 18,498 uh, 18, points. Is fucking amazing. Uh, so details, operating system, yep, identical system. I want to do an identical system. How do we get an identical system? File, preferences, advanced benchmark. Does it let me do, no, multi-core, single-core, MP ratio. Doesn't let me choose what CPU. But uh, it's fucking... I've visited Helensburgh. It's pretty good wee coastal town. Yeah. Apart from, obviously, the No Nukes fucking park, which is still there, which is always funny. Um, no Nukes. No Nukes. No Nukes. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, why Windows 11? Because every other Windows is exactly the same. Um, Windows 11 is fine. It's completely fine for 
uh, gaming, completely fine for playing games on, rendering and everything, as long as you do what I've done in terms of configuration. So we've disabled some things, we've turned some things off, we've put some other things on. The PC's behaving itself. It's been rock solid. CPU performance is great. You just know these ass hats are going to do A Force, the all girl superhero heroine group, like this scene in Endgame. I can smell the hand of KKK at the works. Yeah, because she's a fucking twat, mate. She's a twat. Right. So that's going to rain up. So let's do some GPU benchmarking. Let's do some GPU benchmarking. Let's turn that off. Uh, Rising Master can be turned off. So I jumped on Power World. Uh, so I've installed Steam. I went on Power World on my account. So I will log that off before, obviously, I hand that over to yourself. Uh, GPU benchmarking test. Uh, user benchmark, heaven benchmark, online GPU. What's the GPU? Do, 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 do. Let's go. 3D Mark. I'm sure they did a demo. They used to do a demo. 3D Mark demo. 3D Mark benchmark. Bench or your hardware. Windows editions. Buy Steam Epic Games. Steam. Basic edition. Time Spy. Yeah, that's what I'm asking for. Download. Right. Yes, Steam is installed. Open Steam. We're going to install it to the games drive. So make sure you install it to the games drive every time, Greg. Uh, and you will be fine. Library. Where are we? There it is. 3D Mark downloading. Warp Factor 2 billion. Yes. In the evening time, it does go off all the time. Davy Verse, hell, Tom B, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you, good to see you. I'm just wrapping up Greg's build uh, from a software perspective. I've configured shitloads. Uh, yeah, let me just show you OBS. OBS, Greg. Uh, launch any... Oh, is it already running? Oh, no, that's on my PC. Let's make sure we're on Greg's PC. OBS. All right, 3D Mark has been downloaded. Right, okay, so Gregory. Uh, so what I've done for you is I've installed a couple of add-ons. So the vertical one when we configure, your Ori is the olden, uh, yeah. So the vertical is a predefined or pre-configured kind of like shorts window, Greg. So what we'll do, we'll configure, say, having your webcam up the top and your gameplay like mine is. Down the bottom, when you record or when you're streaming, this button will go blue. You can just click this button and then it will dump that three minutes to uh, memory. And, and so that you can just upload it or add text and whatever in whatever application. Uh, but you've got your start stream. Um, so your stream starting will configure what images you want to use. Your live with apps, your live with games, live with a browser, your AFK, your chair stream. And in your end, let's do this. Let's transform. Let's go fit screen. All right, that's your stream ending. So you have got basically a start. You've got a end. In fact, that's the same image. That should be a different image. Let's do that one. Stream ending. Thanks for watching. Um, we will go through these. And when you're ready, Greg, you have everything that you need in terms to stream. So you got everything. Right, okay, so we are going to do 3D Mark. Let's have a play with this. Let's have a play with this. So again, we're going to keep the CPU temps running. We are going to reset everything. View, reset, minimum, maximum. Because as things run... Come on in. I'm sure I, turned it, I told it to run. Where, what are you doing? store library apparently it's running it's going to come up on screen in a minute there we go right scanning system info chair streams best streams oh my god you are amazing yeah i do try mate i do try to make life easier 
Uh, so we've benchmarked the fuck out of your CPU. Your CPU is way, way, way performing better than standard CPUs. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so now we're going to do some GPU benchmarking. DirectX Time Spy. Let's do that. Let's do Time Spy. I wonder how it's going to do over RDP. Hmm. Might have to drop RDP because RDP does use a bit of the performance. But either way, whatever this comes in at, your performance is always going to be better. I'm going to drop off at some point though. So once we've done a couple of these, I'll drop off. We'll call it day there. It's working perfectly, Greg, now. So the reason why the PC was um, being a bitch last night was simply because of the memory timing. It was just going through memory timing. Um, I've gone into BIOS and I've told the PC to basically do memory timing once in a blue moon rather than every time it logs back in. Uh, so it, it's good now. Um, get Henry Cavill to help you build your PC. No, it's the other way round. I'll help Henry to build his PC. Um, I'm quite happy to help Henry. Um, I mean, the thing is, Cavill's uh, more than capable of building his own PCs. He's more than switched on. He's got my, so certainly got my level of uh, of knowledge over the PCs. But if he ever wanted to do, if he ever wanted to do a collaborative game build, whatever, whether it's War Hammer or anything else in between, I'll fucking I'm always I'm all, I'm up for it massively. Up for it massively. So this might suck massively. Uh, what's he like? AMD? Yes. AMD. This might suck simply because of the fact that we're on RDP. So what I may need to do is um, go on to the display capture because that's not going to use the RDP connection. Um... That might actually be the way ahead because RDP just looks like shit and it's stuttering, but the game's not actually stuttering. It's not stuttering in, on the actual PC itself. It's only because RDP sucks massive wank. Um, so what is he on like? AMD. Oh, Davyverse. Uh, sorry. So Greg's on a 7800X3D. He's got 64 gigabytes of DDR5 at 6000 uh, megahertz. Uh, is on a yeah they've got mental memory training timings uh, so the first time round it's like 10 minutes so you have to be really fucking aware of it otherwise you think that the game's dead uh, when or the, the computer's dead when it's not um, but yeah uh, is it me or is there stuttering yeah it's the it's because of RDP if I and they, if I went back to the screen capture, which I will do in a minute. After this run, I'll drop off RDP because it uses some performance anyway. I'll go back to using the 4K capture, uh, and then we'll um, look at it. Look at it from there. Because the other thing to remember is this is going to render RDP a performance, which is sucking the balls. And no matter what happens when we go back to the old Gato, uh, the performance should better I'm almost tempted to test run by cancel uh, test was run loading result oh it's probably the doodle right okay so let's let's drop out of here let's bring across the El Gato so the El Gato is going to look better it's going to act better and we also need to log in on this yep uh, shit. Tiny little keyboard. Oh, fuck off, you twatted. Would have been quicker if I just got my other keyboard down from the loft. Right oh, right oh. So let's uh, shrink that down. Let's also abuse the display because the other thing as well is that display. Right, okay. No, I don't want to install. Do not show this message again. 
Freaking never install control centers and things like that. That's just their way of putting shit on your computer. Come on. This is the only thing. This fucking remote really sucks balls. Really sucks the balls. Right, run again. Let's see if it stutters like a twat this time. Let's see if it stutters like a penis this time. Oh my, five-year cycle. This still on the 3,000s. Want to hold off till quarter four. Right, Davey, um, I had a 3950. Um, basically, the motherboard, just the USBs died, and then suddenly the LAN connection died. And instead of spending the 400 quid on a new uh, motherboard to replace it, I just jumped to the 7950X3D because it just came out at that point. Um, collecting system information. Hopefully this is going to sort its shit out this time. Uh, so since then, obviously, I, I, I haven't had a problem with the PC. PC fucking runs lovely. Nice performance. Um, so I've got the 7950X3D. 192 gig of DDR5, which is fucking mental. Uh, as well as uh, you can disable in the BIOS that GCC gigabyte. Yeah, um, once I go back into the uh, BIOS, I will sort that out. The error occurred. I wonder if this is having a problem because of the AMD GPU. It shouldn't be. So let's go back into that again. So let's see what's going on Z's. Let's see what's going on Z's with it. Library. Play. It's a bit bizarre why it's crashing. Yeah, the when you go into the BIOS, uh, my mobile glitching, or I would just get the 5800X3D. Yeah, which you'll be able to just drop straight into an AM4 uh, motherboard anyway. Just update the BIOS and it will just drop straight in. And it's certainly a big upgrade over the thir over the 3000 series, um, especially with the caching, and you can. I think you can pick them up for a reasonable price now. Um, certainly a reasonable price. Right, okay. Let's have a look at options. Let's see what's going on in the options. English. Yes, scaling, automatic, automatically high results, scan information. Settings to activate a key. Yeah, we don't need to activate a key. That's not what we're doing. So there's no, nothing in there that we really want to be uh, worried about benchmarks cpu yeah we're not going to worry about that so let's go back to home let's see if we can actually run this now and if it's going to start shitting the bed shit in the bed so i wonder if this is shit in the bed because it's detecting the onboard versus the 7900 xtx hmm because sometimes you have applications that can't handle the fact that there's two GPUs and it doesn't know which one it's supposed to be loading on. So I'm wondering if it's trying to run the time spy on the iGPU. That would be interesting. So I might have to turn it off. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Uh, but yes, you can disable that message. I've got MSI and I've, I've done it in my um, prevent the message from showing. So it's very jumpy. It's very jumpy for me. It's not on OBS, so it's certainly passing through to OBS okay. Um, it's certainly passing across okay. So let's have a look on the old mobile phone. I, but I want to get off this mobile. Had it RDA twice on Gigabyte. Yeah, I've always been... Do you know what? I've always been a Asus Crosshair or Hero board. Or Maximus, should I say. Always. Always. Um, and the latest 67... Uh, 670 Asus board, they were blowing up CPUs as soon as they were um, being used. So I was like... So that's what I ordered. And I ordered it as well, specifically because it had a Thunderboy, Thunderbolt 4 connector. Now, I'm waiting for the revision, next revisions to come out. And I may swap from this MSI board over to a... Go back to the Crosshair. 
because I specifically wanted the Thunderbolt connector for, um, for, for some of the devices that I've got. I've got external GPU boxes downstairs on the Thunderbolt connector and obviously it's backwards compatible but I can put in some of those things like the um, PCI capture card and run the PCI capture card in the external box rather than inside the PC that allows me to add other things into the PC uh, so what am I missing I am missing a message from uh, I'm missing a message from Steel Leg Steel Leg says uh, so Steel Leg's having issues let's have a look at our Discord let's see what's going on smooth uh, just got a few minutes ago, so I'm meeting with best mate. Grab a few before him. After that, we'll hang for a bit. So it might be busy. Uh, video games at 8 p.m. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, go for 2100 or 21. Yeah, 2100. Go for 2100. Right. Normally, was normally MSI. This is the first time with gigabytes, and probably never again. Yeah. Certainly, I've got experience with MSI. I've got experience with Asus, Gigabyte. So most of the main major ones. So the only one I really don't is it used to be EVGA, but uh, from a GPU perspective, but they're not doing NVIDIA cards anymore, which is interesting in itself. So wait for that to do. I was going to jump onto Discordium. Let's see if we can help Steel Leg. I'm in danger. How you doing, buddy? Hey, I you thought you were still working on your stream. Yeah, I'm on stream. Are you on stream? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're streaming together, brother. Um, so the social stream isn't coming up on uh, the main screen, <laughs> no? It was earlier. Can you do me a favor? Can you send me the team viewer details and I'll jump onto the box? Just, just got a big dude who's trying to anal rape me. Yeah, it's right. Uh, so we will we'll help the steel leg. Oh man, the uh, I don't know if he's caught the second. I think it was the second boss I fought mm. or not. But yeah, that was a fun one to fight. There's a cause I got to respawn, but that's fine. Lol. Yeah, so I'm just doing some benchmarking on Greg's PC at the minute. So his PC is behaving uh, as we expect. Uh, everything looks tickety-boo. Um, certainly the frames. Okay. So we've got information coming up on the screen now. So I think, personally, I think... Is the first check, guys, CPU bound? I think it is. I think CPU bound, then it's PC, uh, then it's GPU bound. Yeah, I'm almost certain of it. So there I'm going to... Do I need a refresher or not? Um, let me bear in mind. Let me just have a look. Two seconds, because obviously I don't want to show it up on screen. Uh, no, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's all that's I need. <laughs> no, so I'm gonna connect to it off screen, and I'm gonna drag it across, which is fine. Uh, steel leg. There you are, my friend. Connecting. Yeah, the second boss was kind of like I look like Iron Giant, but it's like, oh damn, it's the British Iron Giant version. Lol. But he wasn't too hard to figure out. But one thing I figured out was you don't want to stay far from this guy. Mm. You stay far from him, he starts sticking his arm out and yanking you towards him and he rips you apart real yeah. fast. Because yeah, yeah. when I fought him the third time, oh, he raped me so fast, I was dead real quick within like three three hits. I was wiped oh, out. Bless. bless you. Once I figured that out, I stayed on top of him real quick. Right, okay, uh, so I've just completed that benchmark. First one is coming up with great. Your score, Greg, 26,486. The average is 25,574. Uh, you are doing really, really well. So this is certainly kicking the ass out of other systems. So I'm just going to scroll down. Um, let's have a look. GPU loads, clock frequencies monitoring so your gpu cpu is doing really fine and bearing in mind this is 4k uh so it's rendering at 4k yeah it's doing really really well cool beans yo cool beans cpu score graphic score 
this feature is not available. So, right, okay, we can't compare that. So let's, let's have a look online. So why is that not connecting to your machine? Let's go remote control using password. Yeah, it's been working just fine. All of a sudden now it's just doesn't want to do it. Yeah, it's it's not even coming up with a uh it's not even coming up with the option on the screen for putting in the pin. Uh, so I'll just give it a little bit of time. So I'll just carry on doing what I need to do with Greg's PC. Um, so that's fine. Let's look at some results, guys. Let's have a look at some results. So uh, 7900 XTX, uh, 3D Mark, 3D Mark scores. That's what we need. Right. So, fucking Jesus Christ. Where's that window gone? There we go. Right. So, someone here, 79, right, someone else has got a uh, similar machine. Uh, Davey Verse, I've totally scrapped HD and solid state trees in NVMEs and never going back, 100%. Always wanted EVGI, but never got a chance. CPU first, Peace Man, Greg getting a class PC. That's a good result. That box can at least last five years in the gaming world. Fucking hell, Greg, you dozy bastard. Fucking gifting me bloody members. You silly tit. Uh, guys, if... <laughs> Here they come. Uh, thank you, Varsity, Greg. You are a star. You didn't have to, dude. Didn't have to. I do this stuff to help people. I do it to help people. I don't even yeah, think there's enough Yeah, we do what people. we do to help you. Yeah, granted, I know, I know people are trying to do stuff to, um, uh, what's the word? Fuck, I can't think of the word. But Davyverse gifted a membership, Sean gifted a membership, Wolfie, RetroClare, and CJ from Rebelink all gifted memberships. Guys, if you've got a gifted membership, make sure that you say thank you to Greg. All of this is going in the big kitty. Thank you very much indeed, Greg. You are a star. I appreciate you. Right, okay. So this guy uses exactly the same um, GPU, exactly the same CPU. So CPU scores versus this. So your CPU score was slightly less than his, but your GPU score was fucking a lot higher than his was. So as far as I'm concerned... Bob on 26,486 versus I mean you're you're a thousand points ahead of him you're a thousand points ahead so smashing result and that's your first one that's no not even any fucking tuning on it none of it that's no tuning no nothing um I know but there's always grays in the chat you don't have to worry about gray people Christ um I'm happy that there's gray people in chat that means that people are coming in to visit I mean, oh, yeah. yeah, granted, if they're green, they're members, but ultimately there's people coming in to visit the stream. Um, so I'm more than happy with that. Yeah. Let's re... So we're going to rerun that. We always rerun. Yeah, always run it Ninja more than once. was working fine earlier, but now yeah. all of a sudden it's like it doesn't want to work. Always, always benchmark more than once, mate. Um, <laughs> fucking hell. Error 404, you twat. He's doing it as well now, dickhead. You're embarrassing me. I'm going to... <laughs> oh, congratulations to you. You are now a Muppet. Believe it or not, you are now part of the Muppet army. I love my Muppets. Uh, control prompt. Does that come up on the screen saying me wants access to your PC? No, I don't see anything. Okay. I wonder why. What's going on here? Tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to close close all active connections. I'm going to reopen TeamViewer just in case it's my end shit in the bed. Um, once I've finished with this round of benchmarking, I think I think it's done, Greg. I'll install things like TeamViewer and a couple of other applications um, so that I can remotely help you on the operating system end. If you eventually do get a Raspberry Pi box to connect in, that will allow me to do um, no. So there's there's not going to be any overclocking. Um, what I've done is basically enabled 
Expo, which is faster settings in memory, but they are standard settings that the CPU can cope with. Um, I'm not going to be overclocking. Greg's not going to be overclocking, so we're not going to be touching anything like that. We have drop-down precision-based overdrive by 35 points, which does allow the CPU to go a little bit higher, um, but that's just in the standard frame. It's in its standard frame of reference. Um, so that I'm happy to do, but in terms of overclocking, we are not overclocking. Um, EO, it's like Power World. Got to catch them all. Awesome, buddy. Yep, so I'm going to stick on a couple more applications. We are going to call it there for this stream. I'm actually going to jump jump into a stream pretty quickly. Oops. My um, fucking remote control was on for my light behind my head. Uh, in fact, let's change the colour because red's, uh, red's... I'm feeling a bit red today. There we go. Red. Normally I move it away from the wall. There we go. So it's basically it's a nice bar that I stick behind the chair. What happens is because it faces the wall, it glows out. So I get halo mode. Halo mode. <laughs> but error 404, thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you. You've been incredibly generous. You're all fucking too generous for my own liking. Um, but I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate the time that you spend in the uh, streams. I appreciate the memberships because it's those memberships are, are just going to go into other things in the channel anyway we're going to do some awesome stuff for people uh it's what i'm all about is all about helping people and thank you very much indeed for helping me obviously with poppy's um recovery which is a fucking amazing right so we're going to do this uh band uh, benchmark let me just see if i can connect to steel leg now let me see but if I can give you a new password or anything. No, it should be still the same, but I'm just waiting for a pop-up to allow me to enter the password. That's the, that's what I'm not getting. I'm not seeing the pop-up. It normally comes up on the window, and I put the password into that, and then I can connect. But a minute. Yeah, let me uh, uh, refresh uh, it then, just in case. Good work help. today, Tommy. Yeah, I certainly try. Here, that might help. Uh, what did you do? I refreshed it for you. Okay. Cool. Because sometimes um, that, that yeah. helps you. Yeah, I can see that's actually come up on screen now. So let me yeah. do that. You got to love it XBA when it does that to you. 45T9. Yeah, I also apologize for keep on talking because I've just realized all of this is coming out on your stream. So for that, I, I massively apologize, dude. I apologize. Uh, do, uh, do you know what? It completely I escaped me. I about your help me. So. It completely escaped me. So I apologize to those people that are in Steel Age chat. How are you doing, guys? Um, also, I'm going to just make they sure that you're I do so. a shout out. It's, a shout out on mine. While you're I'm just <laughs> standing there, so. Yes. I've just done a shout out on mine for Steel Lake. Make sure you sign up to Steel Lake. Uh, just pop across to his stream. Right, okay, so I can see. Right, let me go onto your stream for a second. Yeah, I didn't right. know what to click on it. Yeah, it's fine. On the screen. Oh. I'm so just I didn't go... touch it. I just left it be. I'm just going to jump across to Steel Leg of History. I'm just going to run it up on YouTube. Uh, so, guys, just make sure you're popping across to old Steel Leg here. He's playing Lies of P at the minute. Yeah, you get a weird right, okay. arm that you Test stick out and message. shock things. I, I stupidly say, stop in the name of love. And of course, Matt is like, puts out, types out, stop in love and just laughs his butt off in the chat. I was like, oh, okay. God, you can probably send that to Adam. Okay, let's see. Right. Let's see what social stream is doing. OBS is fine. I can see that's not coming through. So the question is, yeah. what is that doing? Social stream ninja. It's like it's been turned off somehow. All right, let's close that. And let's go to, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's go Chrome. Uh, let's go Chrome. Eventually it will open. By the magic of power of Grayskull. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Come on. Yeah, what I think's happened is social stream has opened the wrong window. So, uh, 26,350. Two. Nice. It's getting there. It's getting there. Right. My next live. So, we're going to go into this one. We are going to just expand it to full screen. We're not going to watch it. We're just going to expand it. And the important thing, if it ever fails, just come into your stream. You see your chat window and there's these three little dots. Yeah. Just click on that and then hit pop out chat. Once it hits pop out chat, social stream, you can actually close your stream window at that point. Um, but as long as you've got this pop out, pop out chat still open, what you should be able to do is on OBS now. So when we go over to OBS, and I can see Metastep is in chat. How are you doing, Metastep? I'm just going to switch hey, across to oh, here. He's had to go, so he's already um, left. Yeah, that's cool. So hey, I'm next. going to go to a to window. Chat. Say again, mate. Uh, Nix. This New person, is a test message. So Nix is in my chat, so he's popped across. It's popped across. And in fact, that doesn't look like it's doing. Let's refresh. Yeah, I just heard a beep. So it sounds like it's working if it's beeping. Yeah, I'm just going to... It's going to open up this window again. Let's close that. I'm going to go back into... Here. It's going to open social stream ninja. My apologies, guys. We'll get cracking soon. And let's get that dock window. And let's go back over to OBS. It looks like that has actually just reset, which is why it's not coming up. So if we go into docks, so I'm just going to fix it roughly for now. And then that'll allow you to get on with your stream. Let me hit apply. Uh, That's it's going to change. It's a lesson for me to learn and how to yep. fix it during stream. So, right. Sometimes this happens. Um, message. Let's see here next. So that should come through now. There we go. Yeah. Message I test. See it. Next. And let me and let me click on it. So let's also Not get up, that. But yeah. Two at seconds. Least the highlight though. Yeah. It highlighted. Exit. Let me get the pop up. It looks uh, like social stream. It. No, it's, it's not going to take two it. seconds. It's not going to take two seconds. Um, so what's happened is social stream looks like it's reset. Um, and as a result, that's why OBS Some isn't picking like it up. Got Tammy's uh, headset. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do is gonna, uh, I'm going to go to... Add hair with us. Say again, mate. You'll probably lose your hair if you had hair with how many oh, times probably. you had to reset her headset and this. <laughs> I haven't got any hair left. All you fuckers are making me fucking gray and bald. Every fucking day, it's like fucking more gray, more bald. I'm like, fucking shit the bed. Uh, right, okay. So when I click Nix's, that should pop up. There we go. That's popped up. Uh, I when I pick help, mine. I my glasses on so I can see it. Yeah, it. Uh, trust me, it all popped up. Trust me. Okay. Right, I'm going to just drop this down slightly. Somehow smudged my glasses and I couldn't see. There you go, my dude. Right, I'm going to disconnect. You should be good to go. Thank you very much All indeed. Right. Steel you. Legs Chat, you take care. Bye for now. I just got to fix the screen so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Lol. I'm going to disconnect. Bye-bye. Right, okay, I am back, guys. Thank you very much indeed for that short break. Uh, it's YouTube lag. They've been messing in the back end. Uh, Greg, so the plan is I'm back in the UK Thursday and properly sort out kidnapping. Yep, doing a road trip to pick up the PC, but I don't know when that will be jet lag and all. Yes, is still legs frozen or just my window? No, he basically had um, stopped moving whilst I was uh, sorting his PC out. Right, I'm just going to remote desktop back onto your PC, Greg. We're going to start shutting things down um, because the games are all okay. Games are running. 
Uh, we've got no problem with that. AMD drivers are all installed. I think I've installed everything. Um, I'm going to log out of Steam. Sign out. Please close the demo. Confirm. Demo was closed, you boobs. And in that way, you haven't got... Oh, yeah, that's your, uh, that's your desktop. Oh, that was going to be a surprise. Fuck. That was going to be a surprise, my dude. Um, but you've got a potato with a witch hat. Uh, so let's just install a couple of last things. Internet downloads. Uh, so we add a couple of items. Drivers for all of that have all been done. Open hardware monitors in. Uh, disk benchmarks in. Discord is in. Hardware monitor. Driver raid. Dragon tool. APU is fine. That's fine. Let's have a look and see. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other, the other thing as well. Um, what's here and why should anyone have it? Am I right? Yes, hundred percent. Uh, Greg, do you have a any? What's your motherboard going to be? Is it Corsair or any of that shit? Um, I'll tell you what, I haven't checked. Lian Lee. So I haven't installed the Lian Lee Connect software. So let's do that. So I haven't done that one. I thought I downloaded it, but I can't see it. L Connect 3. Download. Let's download it from the dodgy website. Uh, yes. So download. Yep, we've done that. That's installed. Done. Fuck me, just done. Can kind of done. Download. Download. Sorry, you can't view this at this time. Too many views. What? What are you fucking talking about? What the shit? Please try it. Link. I'll do a different link. There we go. Downloaded that time. Uh, so we'll get this installed. What this will do will give you control over your uh, all your streaming of your lights. Um, let me ask Tam what she wants to play. Stand by. I'm going to shout. I'll just do a quick chair stream. Fuck it. It's Chero Patronum. Right, let's get cracking. Cracking with the knacking. Hello, Sir Chair. We are ready for the latest gossip. But the chair does not have any gossip other than he's a little bit sweaty. He's very sweaty. Mmm, sweaty. Sweaty Betty. Run as admin. Right, let's get L Connect. So this is going to be your lights, your coolers, and everything else. Um, so I'm just waiting for the USB splitter to turn up. So I ordered a USB splitter 
yesterday. That should be here at some point later today. Right, so once that is in place, and just remember, P drive for all of your programs. We will, damn chair, you was wild. You might say tableist. Yes, ableist. Um, so the USB splitter will be fitted on that flap. That will allow us to put all of the Lian Lees connected together. We've only got one connected at the minute, uh, but all of the Lian Lees will go into that USB hub and you'll be able to have all full control. Uh, so that's on its way. What else did I, what else did I order? A SATA splitter. So what is a SATA splitter as well? Um, that should be here today too. Right, L connect. L connect, L connect. L connect, there you are. So this should show you the CPU straight away. So it gives you some information. GPU, 100% load. Which is not, it's just temporarily. Um, so fan pump, so it's Trinity, allows you to control the colors. Fan profile, you can select the fan profile should you want. Quick. So this is the other good thing as well. Um, so you can change what image is here so that you see exactly um, what the CPU is doing. So you can have the 360 there, the 360 there and have nothing there you change so you've got the infinite infinity fan so you change this to match um and then you can obviously see it and that's what should happen um so now we're just looking for auto run on boot you might as well have it auto run on boot hide on system tray when it auto run minimize system tray at close let's have a look at devices check Update checks. So once everything's fully connected, um, you'll be able to monitor everything through here as well as all of your calling. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's not a bad, bad way to go. So yeah, you can see all of your information there. Cool beans, cool beans. Right, okay, so that's installed. Uh, what else did? All right, motherboard, chipsets installed. Um, didn't see the... Did I see the audio? Audio. Audio. Device manager. Let's go to device manager. Let's have a look at our system and sound. Uh, Realtek audio. Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, certainly fucking there. Uh, the other thing as well, Greg, that the AMD has also got things like um, NVIDIA broadcast. So it's, it does allow you to Reduce your noise, reduce your sound, and all that stuff. Uh, so I think it's this one. I'm just going to have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see what we got. Realtek High Definition Audio Driver. Uh, so, Gigabyte Aorus B650 Realtek Audio software sometimes the realtex you get software to go along with it so i'm quite surprised that there's no we got the audio driver that's it i wonder if it's wrapped up in this one to be honest Let's download this one i wonder if this has got the software because it's much bigger it's much bigger bigger ladies Ladies, config win64. Let's see if you have all of the application software to go with it. Because you want to you want to be able to configure things. You want to be able to configure things. And I'll jump up into the I'll jump up into the loft. And see if I can find the because uh, I've got a proper sound card that I have not used for years. Um I will start my computer later. Right, cool. Audio is in place, CPU's tested, bedded in, um, performance is looking good, the graphics have been installed, GPU performance looks good, yeah, solid machine my friend, solid machine, internet download, so right, your games are going to be here, that's the other thing I was just going to wrap up with, so on your drives, 
you've got recording and streaming. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a link onto the desktop. Properties. Oh, I can stop pressing properties, you dickhead. Uh, let's do a create shortcut on the desktop. Thank you very much indeed. Recording and streaming. So this is where your, your recordings are going to be. So you're going to have your shorts recordings. You can have your game recordings. Uh, so OBS. Let's do OBS. OBS recordings. Because I don't think we set up OBS recordings. So let's do that quickly. OBS Studio. Uh, start recording. Let's go settings. Program sound. Yep. That settings. It would be better. Stream. So we'll we'll set up this once you're um, ready. We're always going to go advanced because we don't suffer from that. Encoder twenty six four constant bit rate. Uh, so this is for your outputs. So if you're doing YouTube, you're probably going to go eight K. Uh, keyframe very fast. What's that? Streaming recording. Let's go to recording. Let's do the right drive. OBS recording, select folder, MKV. Right, I would advise not doing MKV. Go to MP4, because things like Premiere hate, absolutely hate um, MKV. And you have to convert it. Right, use stream encoder. Um, to be honest, it's probably going to be AV1 that you're going to be recording in. Um, but if you just leave it as the same as the stream encoder, Everything else is fine. Or audio, leave everything fine. Replay buffer, 20 seconds. I don't enable a replay buffer. Just don't bother. There's no point. Um, type standard, custom. Yep, that's fine. Audio, 48 kilohertz is more than fine. You can go 5.1 if you want. I dis disable everything else. Video device. We're not going to down sample anything. We're going to go 1080p. And we're going to hit 60 uh where possible advanced processing priority above normal uh everything else is left the same with the exception of stuff down the bottom so dynamically change bitrate we don't want that turned on we are going to ne enable network optimization um because it, it's going to improve the way that the data comes out right okay amazing i've really no idea how to organize for streaming this is this is why I've done this for you because you all you will do to stream is you are going to use and I did this I did this for steel leg so screen number one you are then going to use probably home screen number two and then you are going to use the end which is technically Number three. And you can move these slightly up to organize. So when, when you've organized your stream, you're, you're starting on the start stream. This image, if you want to change this image to be a game or whatever, you go into the um, games list. So if you have a look at the sources, this is just a, an image that's just been loaded, um, which is all on the streaming media images and just going to live in here so if i wanted to have the potato as the start screen um, i would just click on this click browse go to my streaming media can be game could be images of games whatever oh look potato potato and that's it right okay go back to scenes now that's ready so that could be conan that could be party animals whatever you just change the picture and the start stream hit start streaming you're on youtube after a couple of minutes i normally leave my start stream up for a five minutes before i switch into a game then you hit live with games your game will be running and will be captured and your pretty face on your webcam will be showing we'll get there don't you worry about it i'll take you through it when you finished you then hit end stream for, for at least 20 seconds at least 20 seconds then you stop the reason why i say 20 seconds is because YouTube requires 20 seconds at least to add the end, um, kind of like the end credit -y type shit. So you can probably hear music coming through. Um, 
yeah, that's it. It's going to be a piece of piss, mate. And once you've got the PC, we'll, I'll take you through it. So let's shut Mr. PC down. Everything's in place. Shut down. And then I'm going to shut down the stream. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to set up. In fact, let's go back to live. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we are going to do. Right. So the wife wants to play a little bit, bit of World of Warcraft for a couple of hours. So at half past six, so an hour and a half, it gives us enough time to have some dinner and stuff. It's going to have enough time to have some dinner and stuff. So go live. Oof. I've got another subscriber as well. 519. Amazing. Schedule screen. And we are going to pick uh, Ikla Pickler. So reuse settings. This is as easy as it is. Everything else is fine. The only thing I'm going to change is my image. I'm going to change it. You're not going to see any uh, important information because I'm going to change it, change the screen before I do that. Look at all the images that I've been downloading to add to shit. Fucking Jesus. Uh, we're on number. I think we're on number 19 now. 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's just check that. Fuck. Check that. Which one am I on? What episode am I on, Bob? I'm going to do some dungeons with the wife for a few hours. I'm going to play with Smoother DJ as well. So Smoo, I think we're going to do some Final Fantasy XIV tonight. So Mirden, if you're still watching, we will be doing some uh, Final Fantasy today. 18, so we're on number 19. We're on number 19, Cool Beans. No, it's not made for kids. Right, I'm going to put it over to that screen. Because I don't want to show you things like RMTP settings. Time. 18.30. Done. The new stream is set, guys. Guess what? Uh, so it's so cool to see the workings in the back end like this. Yeah, the only thing I don't show you is the screen that basically has the uh, RMTP addresses and things like that. Because that, that gives you access to stream to that location. We don't want that. Anyway. Right, stunning and brave. I'm going to close that window. Uh, I'm going to do rumble as well in a bit. I'll do rumble. For now, guys, thank you very much indeed uh, for your time today. We have built Greg's PC on stream number one. We've done some game install and some settings on stream number two. We've done some CPU benchmarking with Cinebench, where the CPU was performing above, I'd say it's 5% above, standard um, it was definitely higher than the normal 7800 mix as well as the game benchmarks with fucking hell 3d mark that's also showing higher performance so greg congratulations you are now stunning and brave with your new pc your new gaming pc and I, of course i can see that you can see my blurb window which is fine what else am i gonna do I was going to look at something, but I can't remember what I was going to do now. Hmm. It's lost on my... Oh, no, that's what I was going to do. I was going to go onto my stream for a second. Where's my stream text? And I was going to go to this page here. And I was going to say thank you to Greg Phillips for the five gifted Tombi memberships. And Error 404 with the one gifted Tombi membership. Thank you very much indeed. You are fucking legends in your own right. Until then, guys. You guys, take care of yourself. I'll see you in an hour and a half, 90 minutes. World of Warcraft, some gaming with Ikla Pikla. And yeah, ciao for now. Bye-bye.